Hello friends, so today in this video, we're going to discuss a problem from lead code. The problem name is triangle. So first we gonna understand the, what the problem statement is asking you to do. And then we're going to move to how to solve this problem. So the problem is given that you are given a triangle array. A triangle array by means is that the first row consists of only one element. The second row consists of two elements. The third row consists of three elements and so on. And you have to return the minimum path sum from top to bottom. Okay, in every row, you have to take one element and you have to move from the top row to the last row in such a way that you have the minimum path, like the minimum path sum. I will tell you with the drawing also. So for each step, like you can move from one adjacent number to the another row, which is below it. More formally, if you are index i in the current row, you can either move to the index i or index i plus one in the next row. Okay, so you can draw this example out. Okay, so let's assume that this is the first row consisting of only one element. Then this is the second row consisting of two elements. And this is the third row consisting of three elements. And then the fourth row. So like this is a standard DP problem in which you can find out the answer for all the possible states, but the state can repeat out so that you can store out the answer for those states. So what you can see in this problem is, see, if you are, you have to find out the minimum path sum the one possible path can be move from this point to this point or the other path can be move from this point to this point at this state okay then from this path you can go to this point or you can go to this point so as you can see the problem is also telling you that you can go from the current index i to i or i plus one okay so i or i plus one from this you can go to this point or this point now from this point to this point or to this point and this point this point and this point. So as you can see in this problem, what you can easily understand is from each node, you can either go from the current node to the node, which is just below it or the node, which is I plus one in the next row. Now, what you can easily see here is if you find out the answer for this particular row, like if you want to read this, reach this node, what is the minimum total sum? Okay. The, the sum can be like, you can go through this direction or you can go to this direction and like maybe you want to reach this point. So you can go in this manner or you can go in this manner. So if you know the minimum of both of these points, the minimum path to reach this point and this point, then you can choose that. Okay. The minimum path to reach this and this we know, then we know now this is the minimum. Just add out, just take out whatever is giving me the minimum value till the point above it. Then we can add this particular node value okay i will tell you more with the example path so what you can just simply do here is understand here is like at every row you have a like a node which is like the first node a last node and all the nodes which are between that so for the first node there is only one part to reach this like from the the top node you can reach this only you cannot reach this from this node and also for the last node you can only reach it uh, from the like the last node from the previous column or like previous row. But for all the middle or uh, like nodes, as you can see in this positions or like it's not node, the middle array positions, what you can see here is there are two paths. You can reach this via this point or via this point. For this point, you can reach from this point and this point and so on. So what you can easily do here is you can make a same type of DP state value in which the first value is if you want to find out the minimum path to reach this point, it's the same value, which is like, maybe it's equal to one. Now, if you want to reach these two points, that these two points, let's do it equal to two and this is equal to three. Now the minimum path to reach this point is equal to one. You can, you have to iterate from the starting point. So you will take this node and then you can reach this point. So the minimum is two plus one. So you have gone to this point. So you have also added this point. So two, and you have gone through this path. So this path value is equal to one. So one plus two, you can reach this point in a minimum of three total sum. And you can reach this point at a total of minimum of four total sum. Okay. Now go to the next point. Now maybe this value is equal to four. This value is equal to five and this value is equal to six. Now you can reach this point from only the node, which is above it. So from the node above it, it's equal to three and this is four. So you can reach to this node only through one path like this, this, and this. So the total sum will become four plus three, which is equal to seven. Now to reach this in like this node, the last node, you can only reach via this path, which is like one, three, and six, which is equal to nine. Okay. So, uh, sorry, uh, three, four, 10, sorry. 
okay and to reach this node there are two options you can either take this path or take this path what i take by this is like go to this point and then take this path and go through this path and take this point so the total sum can be 5 plus the minimum of both of them because see if you take this path the total sum will be 4 plus 5 which is equal to 9 or if you take this path the total sum will become equal to uh, like 5 plus 3 which is 8 so what is giving you the minimum value the minimum value is equal to 8 because why to take 9 because you want to find out the minimum value which is 8 now what you can easily see in this example is the problem is asking you to find out the minimum path sum from the top row to the last row now in the last row if you take the optimal paths you can reach these particular nodes and this is the minimum value you will get if you reach this node but I just want to reach the last row. I do not want to end on a particular node or like on a particular value. So you have to find out the minimum among all of these values because see, this is the value, which is the minimum value you will have when you reach the last row. If you reach this node, you will have a value of seven. If you reach this node, you will have a value of eight. If you reach this node, you will have a value of 10. So why to reach this node? Because it will give a larger value. It is not the benefit for us. Take this path. If you take this path, which is just taking th these elements, it will give you a total sum of seven, which is the minimum. And in this way, you have moved from the top node, like the top value to the last row. And then you have achieved the smallest value total sum. I hope you get the point and the intuition for this problem. I will take it to the code part now to make it more clear. Okay. You can pause the video out if you want to uh, look in the code. code.